Hi, I'm Gareth Kane and welcome to Ask Gareth. The idea here, as always, is very, very simple. You ask me questions about corporate social responsibility and sustainability, and I do my damn best to answer them. And the question this time comes from Dan. And Dan asks, Dear Gareth, how do you keep sustainability going after the honeymoon? Mm, great question. Although the answer is that if you've got to that stage, it's a bit too late. You see, you know, Dan uses an analogy of a marriage, uh, but basically the success of the marriage doesn't really come during the wedding ceremony, during the honeymoon, or the period just after. It's all about the compatibility of the two people in the first place. And in the same way, is the most important thing is for you to make sustainability compatible with your business in the first place. So here's three things I would recommend you do to get this right. First of all, before you start producing your strategy or program, you need to analyze very carefully the business case for sustainability as it applies to your business, because it is different for different businesses. Some are compliance driven, some are cost driven, some are customer driven, some it's all about the business opportunities in the low carbon economy. And what you're looking for is the sweet spot where the sustainability agenda and your business overlap and that's where you start. And that means sustainability will always serve your business and it won't disappear whenever you know you hit the first bump in the road. The second thing you need to do is you need to, during the production of the strategy, don't send somebody off to draft some huge document and then pass it around for comments. What you need to do is get all the key stakeholders together and get them in a structured way to put together the strategy. They will understand it more and they will be proud of it. They will have skin in the game. And it's far more likely to happen if it's something that key stakeholders have created with their own hands. The third point, and very, very important, is within the strategy, you've got to align responsibility with authority. There's no point in making the sustainability team responsible for delivering on sustainability if they have no authority to redesign the product, to uh, build a new production line to sack a supplier for non-performance. The responsibility has to trickle down through your existing reporting structure so that the correct people have it hardwired into their annual objectives, whatever reporting cycle you use, that they must meet those sustainability goals. If you follow those three things, you'll be much better off. So the triple bottom line here is you've got to design your sustainability strategy to be self-sustaining from the start. Okay, Dan, I hope that answers your question. Uh, Dan, everybody else, what do you think? Do you agree, disagree? Have you got any examples? Have you got any queries of what I mean about anything? Stick them all in the comments below the video and I will answer every single one, I promise. Uh, if you want every future edition of Ask Gareth, make sure you go to www.terrainfirma.co.uk and sign up to the Low Carbon Agenda. That's my monthly newsletter and you will get notification of, as I say, every future edition of Ask Gareth and a huge amount of other free stuff as well. Um, you know, I, I give away an awful lot of stuff on that. I'm very generous. And lastly, remember, whether you're making tiny improvements to the environmental performance of your organisation, or facilitating massive step changes towards sustainability. It all counts. You're making the world a better place and you should be proud of that. Till next time, goodbye.